This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and in this video we're going to talk about the Preakness 2017 and we're live at Pimlico Racecourse Preakness Week 2017 and we're going to talk about Classic Empire's chances of beating Always Dreaming. Our Classic Empire was your two-year-old champion, he won the Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland, he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile uh, and he came into his three-year-old season as, as the winter book favorite for the Kentucky Derby but he had a lot of problems. After, after finishing third in the Holy Bull with only four workouts uh, he had a, a problem with his foot, a foot abscess, and that caused him to miss the Fountain of Youth Stakes. And then he missed some workouts. He had a problem with his back. He refused to work a couple times. Uh, so then they finally were able to get him back on track, uh, and, and they took him to the farm, and he, and he was able to recoup. And then they took him to the Arkansas Derby as his final derby prep, and he won that one. And he earned good, uh, decent speed figures uh, for today's Racing Digest. He earned a 94 fire rating but not, that wasn't close to his 100 fire rating that he got in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. But then in the Kentucky Derby, he had a lot of trouble. He was bumped soundly in the early going. Uh, he was further back than normal. He rallied wide. He ended up finishing fourth. That was a decent effort. Uh, but again, if you look at the speed figures of Classic Empire and Always Dreaming, in their three-year-old seasons, a Classic Empire with that 94 in the Arkansas Derby, of Always Dreaming got a 102 fire rating in the Florida Derby, and then he ran well and beat Always um, Classic Empire in the Kentucky Derby. So I think Classic Empire, obviously, even though he had that trouble trip, I think he could take a bit too much money. And this is also the Preakness will be his third start in five weeks. So if, if between those two, I still think that Always Dreaming is going to sit the right trip in Baltimore, and he's going to beat Classic Empire again because Conquest Mo Money looks like the only other horse that can go with Always Dreaming early. So look for Conquest Mo Money and Always Dreaming to be out in front, look for Classic Empire to be sitting behind them, but I think Always Dreaming gets the first jump and he beats Classic Empire in Preakness 17, uh, 2017. Now if you're interested in my full card analysis uh, for Preakness Day, Pimlico, uh, Saturday, May 20th, you go over to todaysracingdigest.com. Later on in Preakness Week, I'll have that full card there. And if you're interested in that full, uh, complete digest for Preakness 14 races uh, for the whole card of Pimlico, you can go over to todaysracingdigest.com and you'll find that there. And that'll wrap up this week's this video uh, for the Preakness. Until next time, go